Hi, uh, freaks. Want to see a map of my area? All right, freakies. So, um, we're going to try something today. Nice little, kind of an experiment. Uh, normally, when I go to check out a bug out location, I, I go in there. I've been going in there blind, and it's probably, the, it's probably not the smartest thing in the world to do. I bring a drone, I fly it over, and, it, you know, I found a good places in my area that are good, quick bug out locations, rally points, whatever. But I, I felt that maybe I can do better, especially being that I've been getting into this. I've really been going forward and strong with this uh, uh, whole navigation map compass thing. So I got a couple maps of my area, uh, and um, just to get an overall, an overall, an aerial view of my neighborhood and my town, I should say. Uh, expand. Google is really good for this type of stuff, but I, I wanted a map. I wanted something big and tangible that I can take with me. I wanted a little printed out map, so I, I ordered a couple of maps from them. U.S. Geological Survey. Okay, and I have. Let me, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take my maps, or, or at least one of them, and we're going to go into an area that I picked out to go check out. Uh, Sandra and I has already been over here already, <clears throat> just taking a walk through it. But we didn't do any real bug out research. We just, you know, take a hike through the woods. So what we're going to do is, I'm gonna, I'm, we're going to go through the woods with after viewing the map. We're going to go through the woods, check it out. And then we are going to rate it. I kind of came up with a rating system. I don't know how good it is. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to let me try to get this straight. Yeah, everything's backwards on camera. Okay. Um, I'm going to grade it and, and see what happens. And if you think that this is this could be better, please let me know. Okay. Because I think it's a cool idea. Check out check out bug out locations with maps and stuff. Maybe bring a drone for aerial survey, which is always cool. And then we're going to and then grade them. Ooh, we're gonna have fun today, okay? So, let me get, take my map out, and then let's see what we got going on over there. All right. <clears throat> Stop, wrong one. Wrong one. Here we go. Okay. I have discovered I'm really close to the swamp. Closer than I thought I was. Okay. Let me see if I can do a better view. Hold on. Okay, so here is a map of my neighborhood, right? I live in this area here, right? Indian River Estates. Okay. I discovered that if I go down to the end of Easy Street, I live closer towards this end. If I, live, if I go out to the end towards Easy Street, which is only a couple miles away, right over here is a path in the Savannah Preserve. It's actually a trail, okay? I study the map, and I am going to go in here and see if I can decide if this is a good bug out location or not, all right? So, let's go check it out, okay? Oh, then we're going to, then we're going to grade with this, this grading system, all right? Why not? Let's have fun today. Now, one thing I know about the Savannah Preserve, it, well, the, all the swamps really in flowers that they're really wild so we're gonna be going to the preserve gear up bring uh bring whatever you think you're gonna need uh i'm just bringing a trauma kit okay and and of course a firearm today's firearm of choice is the Glock 36 okay so and i'm bringing my dog of course she's always good to have so Let's snap to it. So here we are at the location. Ginger's being kind of difficult this morning. But you know, she's getting older. Come on, girl. And uh, we're just kind of checking out this new area as a possible bug out location. Okay. Um, I got my map. I got some gear. What we're going to do is we're going to check out for resources. Now, you know what? Let me take. Come here, girl.
Hold on, baby. Hold on, baby. Okay. I really don't like... All right, here we are at the bug out location, possibly. Um, checking out resources. They're just being a little difficult. I really don't like her off the leash. Um, but this is a pretty wild area. Um, what is There's something down there. I know this area is loaded with, as far as, as far as animals go. Um, this place is pretty wild. Okay, uh, I know there's, I, I don't suspect any bears to be in here. It is getting old, but I still take her out. Um, I don't know what that is. Something's down there. I don't have my glasses. I can't see. Why well, is my sunglasses? This is a pretty wild place. I don't suspect any bears to be here because of the location it is. But oh, there's pigs here. Ginger, stay. Come here, girl. There's pigs here. In fact, since there's pigs, I'm gonna have to uh, I'm gonna have to change up a little bit. Course. I'd let anything eat my fucking dog. So get ready if I have to draw. Alright, come on girl. But you know what? I'll put my 45 in my pocket. If I have to pull it, I'll have to pull it. And I don't want to have to I don't have to shoot an animal today. Okay, but if I do, I do. I can't really film with uh, Ginger on the leash. I don't, when there's wild animals around, I don't want her on a leash because I want to be able to have free reign. And she's at this point in her life now where she doesn't chase every animal she sees. Unless it's small, I guess. I don't know, we'll find out. But you know, I think the fighter's pretty much taken out of her. She's, she, she won every battle, but she also knows her days are numbered, as far as battles go. Where was I? Okay, so we just saw some wild boar, right? I believe that was a wild boar. Again, I have my glasses on. I don't suspect any bears to be here, um, as far as food animals go. Uh, or predatory animals, let's say that. Let's start with that. Bears, uh, those are predatory, of course. I don't think there's any here. Wild boar you'd have seen. They fall into the food category. Um, what did I just say, boar? Yeah, boar, pig, whatever you want to call it. Let's see, uh, there's coyotes here, I'm sure. There's bobcat here, I'm sure. I don't know if there's panthers. Again, this is the, in, in my location, my locale. Uh, it's really hard to tell because people see them different locations. It's kind of spotty. Maybe there is, maybe there is cougar here or Panther, or I don't know what the hell they call them. Big cats. What does it say, big cats? But we used to see boar, and I'm sure there's other food, food-related animals. I usually fly a drone over these locations. <coughs> Ginger, don't make me shoot any pigs. I don't want to shoot any animals. Goes number one. I don't have the means really right now to uh, to be able to dress any animals, clean them. I, I don't want to gut a pig here and take it home. If there's anything I have to shoot, I have to take home. I'm not really prepared for that right now. The wild boar is actually pretty good. Bad, bad wild boar sausage. Give me a girl. You know what I'm really looking for. I'm looking for, okay, see this here? You can't go, you can't go hungry in Florida. Of course, every place in Florida is choked with wild grapes, okay? And grape leaves are, these wild grape leaves are muscadine grapes, and they grow wild all throughout Florida to the point where you might even call them evasive. And they cook just like regular grape leaves. So if you eat grape leaves, 
This is the place for you. See that? They choke on everything. A lot of snakes here. Oh, that wasn't us on it. Oh, yeah, it is it. Yeah, these are, these are wild grapes. Muscadine grapes. Muscadine grapes. And you could eat these and prepare them just like, like any grape leaf. Ginger, I want you to stay here with me, okay? We're going to stay on the path today because of snakes. Snakes galore. If you're afraid of snakes, cottonmouths, diamondbacks, moccasins of all kinds, bugging out is not the thing for you. But to a real bugger outer, it's food for us. This is always, this is going to be wet. I saw all this on my map. Some kind of a canal. Whenever you see water, there's snakes. So we're going to stay on the path today because although I brought my... Oh, here's something. See that poop? Although I brought my trauma kit. If I didn't bring my trauma kit, my buddy Marco would have been mad at me. Have you ever seen the size of Marco? You want to be on his good side. So I brought my trauma kit. Just for you, Marco. And I know right now he's like, no, Chris, you brought it just for you. No, I also brought it for my girl. My girl, Ginger. So I brought my trauma kit. I brought uh, my knife, Becker, BK2. I'm not planning on doing any bushcraft or starting any fires, but if I have to make a stretcher or something to help me carry my dog out, I can do that. So I gotta get all the gear for that. In my trauma kit. And I will, as well as I brought a, brought a, what did I bring? I brought a Glock 36. Single stack 45. So, that you want in the woods. Guns are tools. All right, here we go. What is this? I'm gonna have to identify what this is. Honestly, it looks poisonous. Okay, it's hard. Can't do nothing with that. Now, I'm looking for the Brazilian pepper tree. That's what I'm really looking for. I'm pretty close to the ocean right now. And if I had a bug out, I can get salt from the ocean by boiling it down. See, it is more muscadine grape. You're not going to find any grapes on here to eat because the animals get to it first. But the whole it just chokes everything. But you'll have salad. Ginger, watch your step, baby girl. Everybody should have her on a leash. Well, she's carrying. Oh, geez. She's a little shallow bulb right now. Come here, girl. Let me fix you up a little bit. I got her leash here. Ginger, please stay. I have her. Ginger's kind of used to this shit. She was a little hard to get her out of the car. Ginger, please wait. But I want to put her water bowl on the other side. I brought water for her. I, I know when I'm thirsty. I know when the, Come here, girl. Stop. I know when I'm thirsty. I can turn around and go back. You know, but she, she can't tell me when she's thirsty. So I just kind of have to make sure she drinks. So I brought water and I brought a... I'm sorry, girl. Girl, please stay. I'm sorry, baby. This is hard to do because I'm doing this one-handed. And she probably should actually be wearing it. But if she gets attacked, I straighten this out. Ow, ow, ow. Okay. All right, girl. Let's go. Take my sunglasses off. All right. Now, the, those pines are very useful in all bug ass situations. You can actually eat the needles, the tips of them at least. The roots, the small roots are edible. Okay. And hold on one second here. See all this? You can strike that with a. You can strike all this with a fire steel. It makes good tinder. You know what? I should have brought my tinder, a little tinder box for me to collect tinder. But I wasn't really, wasn't really thinking that when I started to set out this morning. 
I'm still looking for the Brazilian pepper. I probably pass it a hundred times. More muscadine, more muscadine. And yeah, that just grows all year. For the most part. Well, you can collect it all year. What is this? Brought my map, brought my compass. Sandra and I are going to actually start hiking through here. Oh, there's turtles here too. That's what we were just hearing. I don't know if you heard it or not. Maybe we go straight, don't we, hun? We'll go straight. To the lesser developed area. So what was I saying before? Oh yeah, so we can get salt from the ocean. I'm close to the ocean. Actually, it's that way. Okay, right over that ridge line back there. Okay, right over those, I guess those trees. And you, you know, you just boil it down, keep boiling down, and then finally you get salt, right? The water comes out, the salt stays into the pot. Brazilian pepper, from my understanding, could be wrong, is not really a pepper. It looks like pepper, tastes like pepper, smells like pepper. It's those red berries that you see when you buy when you buy a jar of uh, mixed, mixed peppers, white pepper, black pepper, and there's red pepper inside these little grinders. The red pepper is Brazilian pepper. But they say it's not really, it's not pepper. I don't get it. I don't get it. Going by the map now, if you look over on those sides, there's water sources. There's little ponds going this way too. Going in that direction. So there's fish, possibly. And there's also be gators there, but I don't eat gator. I tried it, don't like it. Great, great fish, eh? See ya. See these young, young pine leaves, pine needles. These, the tips are at all. You can just eat them, tender. But you chop these needles up, these fresh needles. And um, it smells pretty good. Yeah, that's just certainly some kind of pine. You chop these needles up and you boil them down into a tea. They say it's uh, antioxidants. Anti, it's loaded with antioxidant. Ugh. It has antioxidant properties. How about that? See, look at all these little pines coming up. That's good to know. It's a renewable resource. And you can make tea out of them. And they have antioxidant properties. How about that? I think I said it right. A lot of box turtles, uh, tortoises. Go for tortoises. Okay, go for tortoises. Let's go for tortoises in here. I don't know if they're edible. Not really seeing too much palm trees though. Now the problem with all these pines, the problem with pine trees, um, although they burn hot and fast, they really light a fire good. Okay, more muscadine. You don't want to cook meat over it because pine trees create a lot of soot and you'll be tasting soot. You want to find hardwood like the uh, live oaks and other hardwood trees. So you would use it to cook your food over. So you use the pines to light your fire and start getting a good bed of coals and you put hardwood on top of that and everything cooked down into coals. And whenever you have to, I think this is Brazilian pepper. I have to look it up, I forgot. Brazilian pepper is evasive. Now, let's look at this. See these tracks? Give me a go. These are four-wheeler tracks. And my baby, I know. These are four-wheeler. I don't know. Did you just make that track? You probably did. These are four-wheeler tracks. So there's evidence of humans coming back here. Come on, girl. Honey, we're going to turn around very shortly. I know you're getting tired. They hear a rattlesnake back there. 
Oh, no, it's a bird. There's a lot of people back here. So if I had to bug out, I don't know if I would want to use this location just because of, uh, obviously, it's got a lot of people use. The paths have been used because they're not covered over. This one's not used as much, but you saw the paths, the paths uh, when I came in, those get frequent use. So it's, it's not like there's a hidden location. I'm the only one that knows about it. I live in a densely populated area, and this is part of the uh, Savannah Swamp Preserve. So this goes from, you hear that, Ginger? So this goes from uh, the northern side of Fort Pierce down to Jetson Beach Boulevard. That's the length of this stretch of swamp area. Ginger, come here, girl. Come over here. Let me get on this side. I don't know where they are, but they're, wherever they are, they're up in the trees. So we're okay. Well, you're okay. Nice trek in the woods. I don't know, uh, I think I mentioned this already. Normally I bring a drone with me. There's something back there, some kind of water source. I usually bring my drone and fly it over. I came here with Sandra one night and we just pigs everywhere. So. How you feeling, Ginger? You're losing your harness. I suspect in the when the rains come. Which are coming this month, all of this is going to fill up with water. Yeah, canal. I'm going to have to come back here during the rains, in the middle of the rains, at the end of the rains, and check it out all those times. Because one thing I like about the swamp is that it's full of water. And a lot of people are going to stay out of it. Most people stay out of it. And nobody will be riding their four wheelers back here or something or using this as their own bug out location. If it's full of water. Give me a ginger. Give me a girl. Someone's in there. Ginger, come here. Ginger, come. Stop. Stay. Come here, girl. You see, somebody's been burning us. Whatever that is, somebody's been burning it. Made some kind of a fire back here. Some kind of a piece of um, piece of palm. Come here, girl. Okay, I'm getting an odor or something. Okay, see all this? It's pigs running. Okay, so that's what that's the noise, baby. Honey, we're gonna go back because I don't want you to get chased. I don't want you to get into a fight. See, this is all fresh pig stuff. Fairly fresh, anyway. That's probably what we're hearing in the woods. See, that's fresh. That's fresh. We'll go down to the, uh, this cross area over here. And then we'll turn around. Alright. And then we'll head back. So I'm, I'm gonna go evaluate this as a bug out location. I think I should probably still bring my drone here. But with all these, all these uh, little tracks, or the ATVs, ATV tracks, I'm not really sure. There's bicycle tracks here. Come here, girl. White tail blue, t two miles that way. Okay, honey, we're gonna come back. We're gonna we're gonna turn around, all right? I'm gonna take you home. There's a path going down this way. Okay, it looks like it opens up back there, and that's gonna all be full of water once the rains come. All right, let's turn around, baby. All right, so that is uh, that is my quick assessment. What are you looking at, girl? Flowers a pretty wild place. It's hot. It's muggy. 
you know, three times, uh, about three months out of the year, four months out of the year. But you ain't going to starve. You're not going to go thirsty. You know, are you ready for some water? We'll take you back to the car and go home. I'm only, I'm only about, two, about a mile and a half from home. So anyway. All right, so that's it for this. I'll get back to you. I'm trying to do this with one hand. Come here, girl. Okay. Can you have some? Here you go, baby. Let's go up and drink some serious water. She was panting in the car. You gotta drink it all. I have no more left. Sish? Come on, take it Get it all. Finish it up. Come on. Finish it up, baby. Let's go back. Come here, you. Come on, one more. One more, baby. All right, she's done. Channel mode. Oh, shit. Turn my radio on. It's really hard to do when it's in one hand. So why don't I bring a walking stick? Okay. Oh, you know what? While I'm here, let me try to get a repeater. Channel mode. Oh, good. All right. I need you to take us home. I have my map, but I want to see if Ginger knows the way. Let's see what she does when she comes to this crossroad. <laughs> take us home, Ginger. She's looking around. She's like, okay. Come on, use. Come on, baby. You know that's not the way. Take us home, baby. Ginger girl. It's this way, honey. Come on. Come on, you know which way. Come on now. Oh, my God. She saved my life one time. I got lost in the woods. And she knew how to get out. No. She used to be my map and my compass. Oh, just the compass. Yes, honey, it's straight. It's straight, baby. Damn well better be. But I got my map and compass here anyway. That's the focus of this video. All right, see so you at the house. All right, so I just got back from the, from the preserve, okay? And we are going to grade, grade this preserve, okay? We're going we're gonna to do it. And then, uh, I don't know, we'll see if it's good enough or not. At least for temporary. I, I don't I, I, I don't know. You know what? You guys need to help me decide. So let's, let's without further ado, let's just check it out because I babble. And, and I know I probably got fingerprints all in my, in my video because I didn't, excuse me, I didn't charge my GoPro camera. 
uh, I planned on using that today so I'm using my phone and uh, my, my phone does take a video but it's a pain in the ass I, I wanted to strap it to my head and um, and just take a walk through the woods with it but I wasn't able to do that so I used my phone so um, let's gray this bad boy all right so basically ginger and I took a little walk see okay and we walked uh, from this here this location right here this trail and we walked uh, about this far okay and then we turned around and went back she was getting tired she's getting older now okay and uh, but um, I know I not, I know I got to train Cammy for this but um, but yeah I'm not really I'm not, I'm not ready to uh, take ginger out of the woods yet she's she's been a good bug out dog for me but regardless of that uh, let's go okay you, you can see how I mean, let me stand up we just want to check it out because you can see it's all swampland all of this is swamp and a lot of it's dry right now okay a lot of it isn't but when the rains come the savannas actually goes all the way down you see all that it's all the way down to like Justin Beach Boulevard which is down around here somewhere okay actually it's St. Lucie County, Martin County. It ends right about here. Okay? As soon as you get into Martin County. And so, what we did, we trekked. Uh, where were we? We trekked from. We trekked from here. Again, all the way to about here. Okay? I don't want to go too far with her. Um, I'll do that with Cammy and stuff because, it, again, she's getting old. And she needs water all the time. <clears throat> so we, 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 we went a long way. Not really a long way, but fairly long. And uh, we did notice a lot of things, um, as I'm sure you see in the, in the video. So let's, let's grade this uh, in this grading system. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to grade everything on one to five. Five not being the most, five being the best. Okay. So ease of access. Ease of access. Um, it was easy to get in, okay. But it was in a housing development, so anybody can basically see you going in. If you go in at night or you walk in, I mean, it, it's, it's, it's right down at the end of a dead end block. So as far as easy access goes, although it was really easy to walk right through the gate, anybody can see you doing it. So I, I'm going to give it a three, okay. Because there's a lot of people down over there, okay? Um, if, if, it was, if I had to jump over fences and, and all that other stuff and go through all the hoops and ladders to get in, you know, it would be a one or a zero. It was inaccessible, it would be a zero, okay? Water resources. Um, a lot of it's dry right now, but a lot of it's still wet. Yeah, I can dig into the ground. You can actually dig down a couple of feet and, and hit water. Uh, I know from working on the power lines and helping to install the... Um, the uh, uh, the utility poles you go down about five feet and you're hitting water so anywhere in florida right now especially in, well in this location easy it, it's easy to get water water is accessible if you got a shovel you can get it if somebody like our, our group we, we can certainly do it <clears throat> fire and tinder resources uh, i didn't mix it with wood because not all wood is 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 not all wood is is easy to you, you can't just excuse me I, I just split it apart. I wanted wood resource to be different because wood resources you would use for uh, for building as well. So for fire and tinder, uh, there, there was plenty of tinder around. There was dry uh, dry bark, um, so it was plenty of tinder. There was plenty of dry grass to to start a fire with. I'm gonna I'm gonna grade that as a five. Okay. And wood resources, um, I saw a lot of pine. I didn't see a lot of hardwood though. Uh, hardwood is extremely important if you're gonna cook over a fire. If you're not going to cook over a fire and you, you know, all you got is, uh, say, softwood. <coughs> Excuse me. You got my allergies. Uh, softwood, you don't want to cook meat directly over because uh, it gets sooty. Uh, you would have to pot it or cook it in a pan or something like that. So I didn't see much hard wood. So wood resources, uh, there was plenty of pine. You can always build. I'm going to rate this as a four only because I didn't see any hard wood. And that, limited, that limits um, some some options. Food plant life. All right, I, I saw a lot of I saw a lot of wild grape. I saw a lot of muscadine grapes. Uh, and you know, there's enough there for a lifetime. But how, how much of that could you possibly eat? Nutritionally, 
you, you probably just can't really do that forever. I was looking for some other things. I was looking for uh, some fruit trees. I didn't see any fruit trees. It would be nice if there was some uh, tangerines growing wild uh, or some wild pineapples because this whole area um, used to be uh, pineapple farms and stuff. So as far as food plant life goes, I'm going to choose a three because you can sustain yourself, um, but you're not going to have diversity. Uh, food animals, uh, we saw wild boar. I know there's snakes in there. Wherever there's water, there's snakes. I know that there's, um, there's, there's all kind of, I know that there's, uh, uh, I don't know if you can eat um, tortoise, but there's plenty of that too. I did see some tortoise uh, tortoise nests, or, or whatever they call them. I didn't see a lot of it because you know, basically it takes off. But I know there's gators there too, so if you have to eat gators, I'm gonna rate this as a five because I, I just feel it's richer food animals. But with that, it comes predator animals. I know there's bobcats in there. I'm not sure if there's lion in there. Uh, what do they call them down here? Panthers. Uh, I, I didn't see any of that. I'm pretty sure that you might you might stumble upon one or two. Um, I don't know how many foxes would be down here, but you don't really worry about foxes. Tons of snakes, but snakes are also part of the food animals. So I'm gonna you know I'm gonna rate this as a two. Only because I didn't see any bears. I didn't see any evidence of bears. But I'm gonna rate it as a two. Two being not to being terrible. In other words, it, it's, there's a lot of them, okay? So if it was a five, I would say that there's none. Like if you're walking down the block, you don't expect to bump into bobcats. But if you're walking through the woods, especially in this area, I expect to bump into a lot of bobcats, okay? Cover. Now, cover and concealment are different, okay? Concealment is when you're just hidden. Cover and if somebody if somebody finds you though and you're hidden, uh, they can shoot at you. Let's say for example, and uh, it will go right through whatever you're hiding behind and get you. <clears throat> for example, when people go to the range and shoot those blue barrels, or, or they're hiding behind a, one of those blue barrels or shoot another blue barrel, that blue barrel is, is not cover; it's concealment because you can shoot right through that blue barrel. I saw a lot of concealment, but I didn't really stumble upon. Um, too much cover because I really didn't go to the forest area, but I did see a lot of forest area. I just didn't really stumble upon it. Being a swamp, I don't imagine there to be too much cover. I'm going to rate this as a three because I know it's available. I seen it. I just didn't go to it. Uh, concealment. I'm going to rate this as a five because you can hide just about anywhere now. Uh, you saw in the video, there's plenty of places. You heard a lot of noise in the in the in the woods. Animals are, are certainly concealing themselves. Human life. Okay, this is very important. I saw tracks uh, uh, for, of ATVs. I actually bumped into an old man jogging through there on the way out. Okay, he was about 70, in his 70s. Uh, he was pretty hardcore. He was probably like a Vietnam vet or something. Uh, all, all, those, all those old people that were in Vietnam are, are pretty tough. I know, I know that they use this, people use this trail for exercise. So I'm going to rate this as a two because of the well i'm gonna rate this as a three because of the human factor i imagine when the shit is the fan not as many people are going to get into the woods as as a lot of people talk about people say when the shit is the fan everybody's gonna run out of the cities into the woods i, I honestly i don't buy that i don't buy that at all um we can have a discussion on that at some point but it's not in the scope of this video ability to hold a group absolutely a strong group, you know what, make that a four. A strong group could certainly live in this woods. A strong group. A weak group, no. But a strong group, like we are, or we're going to be, can certainly, will certainly have the ability to survive in the swamp. I'm going to rate this as a four. Okay. Base camp. I don't see it as a good base camp, uh, only because um, a base camp, you... When I think of a base camp, I think of a, of a place that we're going to be for at least a year. And it's going to rain four, four months out of the year. And the place is going to be flooded. And although we can survive in there, making a permanent camp, I, I don't think so. I'm, I'm going to rate this as a two. Okay. As a rally point. Again, with, with the human factor and being down at the end of the road, of the ease of access, um, we got a rally there. Um, I'm, I'm going to rate this as a three right down the middle. 
goes, I guess it would depend on the situation. Okay, so that is my bug out location assessment using the grading system. Now, if you can decide, <coughs> excuse me, of a better grading system than I have, please do, and I'll, I'll just make up another one. And then when I get down to the next location, um, we will uh, uh, we'll grade that one too. Okay, so this is just a test run, a trial, and uh, we'll just see how it goes. Okay, so in conclusion, I kind of thought that was kind of cool. I, I kind of thought that I was able to take a, a, a U.S. Geological Survey, U.S. Topo map, from the U.S. Geological Survey in my area. Okay, I have a, another map adjacent at north of it because St. Louis County is very big. It's a big county. Um, probably messy here. I love this. I'm going to do it again. But you know what? It gives me an excuse to get into the woods. And I love that too. I love checking out bug out locations. I love walking through the woods, looking for resources, seeing what's in the woods, seeing what they have. And and honestly, although for my trick and scratch handwriting, if, if I had a bug out with just me and my girl, I would do it. I, I, I think I would do it. Only because I know there's food and water there. As a group, it's going to be looking for a base camp. So it makes a good rally point. And if we have to stay there for a couple of days, we can certainly do it. We can certainly do it. We can just we, we can filter our water. And, you know, it was, it was just loaded with pigs, really. Loaded with, if you like pork, like I do, you're, not, you're going to eat. You're going to eat. And there's, there's pigs there. There's, there's going to be, you know, there's going to be rabbits and, and, and totally tons of snakes. I really don't think snakes taste like chicken. But, well, maybe they do. I don't know. Or you can sustain yourself for a while until you get to your next rally point and meet up with more people and move into your base camp area. What do you think? Hit the like button. Please subscribe. Okay? And uh, have a good day. In the end, the shit hits the fan, preppers will inherit the earth. Have a great day.